News flashes, quick reports, you're watching Hubware Velocity. We're back in the halls of the IAE to summarize the expo and everything around it. And I'm just gonna start off with some old-fashioned shaming aimed at Hesperia. Hesperia has always been charging outrageous prices for their alien designs. But every year, one of their ships makes an extra effort to stick out like a sore thumb. You guessed it, it's the Prowler. We know about the unusually hefty prices when it comes to alien ships, but it's absolutely ridiculous that an alien variant of a cutlass steel costs more than a luxury 600i able to accommodate several well-looked-after VIPs. You don't have a bed. You don't have a bathroom. You don't even have food. And, on top of this, you can barely even match the firepower or the shields of the 600i. The Prowler has no business costing this much. Shame on you, Asperia. Anyways, speaking of the 600i, Origin Jumpworks are striking while the iron's hot with two new liveries for last year's Ship Showdown finalists. The same cannot be said about Argo, who are just letting this chance to capitalize on last year's success slip out of their hands by showing absolutely nothing new. For a simple ship like the MPUV, coming up with a new variant or even a livery seems to me like an obvious moneymaker. But I guess I don't work for Argo. But if you're listening, just know you missed a big fisher. One manufacturer to make note of the popularity of smaller ships, however, is Anvil Aerospace. And during the expo, they have successfully launched their Pisces C8R rescue variant. Even Drake Interplanetary got a piece of the starter ship pie with their cutter model, launched in conjunction with their long-awaited Corsair Explorer. And with two launches and being the official sponsor, one would think Drake was on everyone's lips after the expo. But no, 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 this was not the case. It's a rare occurrence that a year goes by where RSI has not unveiled something new to fly, and 2952 would not leave us surprised. The RSI Galaxy is a new, modular, multi cruise ship, right now in development at RSI. And according to the manufacturer, the Galaxy crew would be able to tackle any cargo, medical or refinery needs they might have by changing the module at the heart of the ship. Being of a modular design, there's nothing stopping RSI from adding more functionality to the Galaxy further down the line. And that brings us to the end. I hope you have enjoyed our expo coverage. I'm Oliver Zark, and you are wiser than yesterday. Be safe. What was your favorite part of this year's expo? What surprised you and what made you disappointed? Leave a comment for your chance of winning a Drake cutter with lifetime insurance. Which by the way must be such a bad deal for Drake. How are they offering lifetime insurance on these heaps of junk? Oh sorry, I mean the cutter is a great ship. 